So you might have been told that planting beans next to your other plants is going to help them grow better because beans are nitrogen fixers. And this is true, they do fix nitrogen in nodules on their roots. Um, and you're told that because they do this, that they help the plants near them grow as well, providing that extra nitrogen. Um, and I'm here to tell you that that is not quite true. So I started out doing research for this video to do a video about companion planting, which is the general idea that planting things next to each other helps them grow better together. Um, and the most famous example of this that you probably have heard of is the Three Sisters Garden. Um, and this is the garden where you have corn and the corn grows up and tall. And so you plant uh, pole beans near the corn and the pole beans get to use the corn as a trellis and the beans provide nitrogen to the corn and then the third sister would be squash that you plant to help keep the ground covered keep the weeds back um, and of course the beans are also theoretically providing nitrogen for the squash and so in this scenario and all other ideal companion planting scenarios there is a mutual benefit to having these plants planted close to each other but a while back I did this video where I talked about how nitrogen fixing actually works and you can go watch that up there but the main takeaway from that is that as beans fix nitrogen into the soil that nitrogen is for the most part not released until after the death of the plant. There is tiny bits that are released while the plant is alive from those nodules um, but that is really negligible compared to what is released after the plant dies. Um, and so this idea of beans and legumes in general as a nitrogen fixer makes a lot of sense as a cover crop if you are going to then let it die there and use that nitrogen for the next crop that's coming up. But just based on that, it doesn't make a lot of sense that beans would be good for something that is actively growing next to it because they are sequestering that nitrogen. But I looked at this situation and I thought about the Three Sisters Garden, which is something that has been around for a really long time. It is uh, an uh, indigenous practice. And I thought, well, they wouldn't be doing this if it didn't actually work, if it didn't actually help. Um, and so I started looking into it. I looked into a bunch of different things and I finally settled on something that I think might explain why this works. That is kind of like a uh, missing piece to this puzzle that just isn't being mentioned at all. And if you didn't know, I got my master's in bioengineering working in a biophysics lab. We were studying the motor proteins in algae for any of you who are interested. Um, but basically, I was able to look into all of the research in this general area, and while of course there's a lot of jargon that is very field specific, um, for the most part, I think everything that I read made a lot of sense. And I have this theory, and it is just a theory um, based on what I've read. I haven't seen anybody do research on this specific thing. Uh, but all of this coming together I think would provide a really cool explanation for why the beans work as a nitrogen companion, even though they're not releasing nitrogen from those nodules until after they die. I think stuff like this is really cool. I love learning about stuff like this. Um, and of course, if I'm wrong and somebody does the research and I'm wrong, of course, that's fine. <laughs> I would love to learn even more about this, um, but I think that is, as this is being researched, as people are thinking about it, it's really cool to share with you what I've read and what I think and get more people thinking about it. So as you may or may not know, uh, aside from plants and soil coming together to grow, you know, there's nutrients in the soil, there are microbes in the soil, but there are also fungi in the soil. And there are so many different kinds of fungi and each of them is very specified to its own little job. And there is a collection of fungi that are really specified to interacting with plant roots and forming this network of nutrient exchange. And if you look into the history of fungi, you'll actually 
find that fungi were the roots of plants before plants had evolved roots in the first place. They are the main reason that plants were able to come onto land in the first place and be able to gather enough nutrients to survive being stuck in one little spot. And so as plants and fungi evolved together, they maintained this relationship of exchanging nutrients. Generally, the fungi will go out and search for things that the plant has a hard time getting, and the plant, which is photosynthesizing over here, is gonna share its sugars, its carbon, with the fungi, and they have this like own little economy going on. It's very neat. Um, something, like a really cool fact about this that I learned recently is that a fungal network uh, is actually smart enough to give plants different exchange rates in different areas of the network. So they can provide more or less of whatever nutrient is available for more or less carbon, depending on the relative uh, availability of these nutrients. So if the uh, fungi does not have a lot of nutrient to give, then the exchange rate to the plant is going to be higher. They're going to have to pay more carbon to get this really limited nutrient. But if there's a lot of it, then the plant is not going to pay as high of a carbon price to the fungi for that same nutrient. So I had already known all of this just from reading about it randomly in a book. And I thought to myself, what if instead of the beans just releasing their nitrogen into the soil, what if fungi are actively transporting the nitrogen from the beans, from the legumes, to other plants in the system that need that nutrient? And so I looked into it and it turns out that fungi, yeah, they are capable of transporting nitrogen across the network and they actually do this super regularly. This is a very normal thing for fungi to transport across their little um, nutrient network. So another thing to consider here is, okay, well, fungi can transport this nitrogen, but are all the plants involved like, compatible with this fungi? Because not all plants are. And I found that both beans and corn are compatible with this type of fungi. So that checks out. So then the question becomes, why would it be helpful to plant beans right next to something as opposed to maybe within 10 feet or 20 feet of something because these fungal networks can be huge absolutely huge and my idea is that with the beans closer by they increase the local supply of nitrogen meaning that other plants that might still be able to get nitrogen other ways from the same fungal network have to pay a lower carbon price for nitrogen because it is such a high concentration in the local environment. So anyways, that's just my theory. That's this thought that popped into my head that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, of course, if any of you have like information, research on this that you wanna share, I think that that would be really cool. I would love to hear all about it. I really try to make this channel a place for learning and exchanging ideas and not a place for criticizing people for not doing things like the exact way that you think that they should. Um, and so I'm going to be doing some more of this like science-based content and exploring a lot of the um, theories of gardening and why we do things the way that we do because I'm finding that there's not always a great explanation other than, well, this is just the way we do it. Anyways, if you guys like this kind of content, you can, of course, support me and support the content by liking and then subscribing to my channel. It helps get the word out to more people. Um, and then if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, I do have a Patreon. It is linked below. You can check it out. I've got all sorts of cool things that you guys uh, can earn on different tiers. The coolest, in my opinion, being the stickers that you can earn. And right now those stickers are only for patrons. I'm not selling them anywhere else. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I wish you happy gardening.